Oh, are you actually recording? Yeah, I'm recording. So this week we started off by having Nick finish up editing last week's video, which is completely normal. Most of the videos don't get posted until Monday. And then while Nick was doing that in the morning, uh, Curtis, Casey, and I had a conversation about Justin Gauthier's writings that he uh, was commissioned by uh, SDI to write regarding the sustainability model so that we could start thinking about how we want to incorporate uh, the model into our work. So we had a conversation about that and then afterwards Casey uh, started planning out the rest of the week because uh, he, he was leaving uh, the next day. After uh, we did that, um, we went out back to the east and south aligned roads to uh, scout out another location because it turns out uh, the burn that we had been going to isn't the only burn site there. There's another one that's further down on South Line Road. All right, where are we today, guys? <laughs> we are at a burn site that we haven't been to yet. Even though we've been to its neighbor down the road. We've been very close to it every single time. We haven't yeah. actually been to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be out here because this might be the place that we want to walk up. We'll uh, want to be interviewed. That's right. We're going to do some storyboarding in there. Scouting out some location. Awesome. Awesome. Probably right here. Which is interesting that that's a field down there. Yeah. It looks some sort of water thing. Yeah, I thought it might have been maybe a marsh. Yeah, that too. So we went there, checked that out, and then got us a good, some good ideas for where we want to film and storyboard a little bit. Then after that, we came back and we met with a new person that's replacing uh, Casey. This week was a pretty short week. Um, Monday, we had Stacy come in. Um, and we were introduced to her. Um, she is also with Penn State. Um, she is working a lot um, studying the effects of emerald ash borer, I believe. You see, Casey left on Monday, and um, he had to go back to Pennsylvania State. So, um, his replacement, Stacy, is joining us for the rest of the time before we go to Pennsylvania State in uh, two weeks. Uh, we filled her in on the project, where we were at, and, uh, and who we were planning on interviewing. So on Tuesday, we were going to interview Ron Waka, but he was called out to Colorado to uh, help with fighting the forest fires out there. So we had to uh, rethink our plan because he was going to be gone for two weeks and we are leaving in two weeks to go to Penn State. So for that day, we kind of like took a moment, tried to figure out what we were going to do, and then realized what we could do is we could take that opportunity and go back to the site that we went to on Monday and get some B-roll and some B-roll in some other locations. On our way to the other burn site, uh, on VV, there was, uh, we saw some uh, forestry work happening. It was really funny. It was really spur of the moment uh, opportunity. So we literally just like turned it around and went back and asked if we could film um, some of the NT members uh, picking up some of the logs and such. Uh, huh. So that was, very, that was a very cool thing to happen upon. Um, after that, we then made our way back to the east line and south line burns. Uh, got some B-roll of that. Um, we went, the first one we went to was the one that we went to on Monday. And then uh, the second one was we just got a shot from the one that we went to all the previous times. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday was the 4th of July. Wednesday was a holiday. So we weren't um, working, and then Thursday um, we spent the day, spent the morning reading, um, just a journal article on narratives, 
and um, that pertained to us just because that's what we're doing. We're going to be working on a narrative. Um, just do a little bit of reading on it, just to see what what's our goal in our product. Is it to persuade, inform? We read that, had a discussion about it. After lunch, we went up to the forestry offices to get a shot of the Smoky the Bear sign that says, uh, what are the chances of having fired uh, that day? On Thursday was low. Uh, we did that, and then we realized that we were actually at the forest management office. It was really funny, because a guy came up to us and introduced us to the person that's in charge of the fire management office for MTE. Uh, his name is uh, Bernard Bowman, and uh, it's really funny, because uh, it just sort of happened. It seems like a lot of things have happened like on the spur this week. And so uh, we did that, and uh, we got in contact with him, and uh, we're going to try to get him to do an interview instead of uh, Ron Waka. Another thing that happened on Thursday was that Jacob and I's mom showed up, which was, which was really interesting. <laughs> yeah, she helped us out a lot, and uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, and then Friday, hopefully we will meet with um, Justin um, and get some storyboarding done and if we're lucky by the end of this week we will have the final product mapped out and we'll know what we're making and then the next step really is just getting the film getting the interviews and getting the product all filmed and ready to go we had Chris Caldwell uh, email Jeff Greeno to see if we could schedule something and uh Turns out he's willing to do something next week, so you'll see that in next week's vlog, hopefully.